family cookbook and a thermometer. Honey, flour, cookbook, all good. Alright, and all the maple syrup and containers. What you got? Cordless drill I want. Don't need the tree spile or the wood saw. Uh, that will just unload. And that's the third, fourth chainsaw. <laughs> and lots and lots of steel drums. Um, I don't have a good way of transporting steel drums right now, so we're going to end up leaving all this stuff behind. Add a lot of maple syrup. Alright, yeah, we're done in here. 1753. All right, six o'clock. Can I get back home? Before it gets dark. I don't think I'm likely to get back home and actually get settled in before it gets dark. Hey there, shady zombie. room that I care about. as well. Um, 18.50, 6.50. That's a bit of a drive. I think I'm going to drive up to the farmhouse. We'll sleep at the farmhouse. That'll be a better place. Alright, hopefully we find a body site on our way through the 
Planes here. Oh, yep. Body sight. Alright, come on. Soldier or scientist, please. Hydrogen canister. Scientist sight. Yay! Two ID cards. Anti-glare compensators. Alright. So this is perfect. So... Slow down. Plutonium cells. Love plutonium cells just laying around. Air filtration systems pretty useful as well. All right, so some plutonium, a couple of CBMs, a couple of ID cards. Not bad. So now we can either go into one of these local labs or we can uh, open up that entrance for our base is and see what we see. That was another big goal of mine with this trip, was trying to find an ID card we could do that with. Cracking Amigo, another site right off to my right. Hello, Amigo. What kind of site is it? Oh, it's another science site. Lab coat, clean suit, lab journal, two more ID cards. All right, we got to stop. Um, let's. Whoa! All right, going a little fast. Stop driving. Oh, you don't want to fight me, stupid thing. Migo's going to tear you apart. <laughs> Wield. Shotgun. Ah! Crap. Here we go. He's faster than me. Alright. 91 headshot. 39. 42. Barely injured. Down you go, stupid Migos. <laughs> oh, leave me alone, you stupid crack. You don't want none of this. I keep coming back for more. Ah! Alright. I didn't want more things to come running in. Um, let's... Go to run mode, see if we can get the crack in between us and those. Then wield the reflex recurve. Yeah, you guys want some too? Alright, is it clear? <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, while well, we're over here. All right, uh, nothing on that site. There's another ID card. I also want the jumpsuit and the sunglasses. Put on the sunglasses. Been suffering from uh, glare for a while now. Clean suit, grab that. Another ID card, lab journal. I think that was it. Oop, one more. is this plum tree
I think I got all my arrows. Yes, got all my arrows. I'm not even going to butcher the coyotes. I got too much meat to deal with as is, and we're about to lose the light. Oh, that's right. That's why I wanted to go back home. <laughs> I don't have my preservation stuff. Uh, do I risk driving at night? I need to get back and get this meat preserving as quick as possible. Um... Mm, I got one central headlight. Headlight. Oh, apparently there's three headlights. Um, there. I'm gonna drive through the night. I can't afford to uh, let that much time go by before I get back and start preserving this food. Let's have something to eat first, though. Let's have uh, smoked meat and biscuits. And another biscuit. And a toast them. All right. Turn on headlights. Only because it's fairly clear. I've only got one area that I think I'm going to have to worry about zombies while I do this. Alright, so I know the road's clear after the lava there. Get the speed up. This would be quite the uh, successful scouting run if I can get back without major damage to the vehicle. We've got the computer skill. We might be able to get into the um, bionics labs, the auto docs in the uh, laboratory. Don't have a lot of CBMs yet. Got a few that'd be pretty cool. All right, how are we doing? Getting close. What's our gas doing? Ouch, we are burning gas. Alright, definitely going to have to gas up again after this. <clears throat> but if we can get this meat preserved... Whoops. Uh, how am I going to do this? I could actually come down this way, come straight across, and be in pretty much completely cleared area the entire way in. My one worry is that shocker brute... I think he was down this road. They're going to be able to see these lights from a uh, zombie soldier <laughs> south of me. Ah, another body sight. And it's a soldier sight. <laughs> Crap. With a lot of bodies. Um, I got to run that soldier over. All right, soldier's dead. I don't see the glow of a shocker brute nearby. I'm gonna risk it. We're gonna stop right here. Turn off headlights. Stop driving. Go out the other side first. No shocker brutes that I can see. I only saw a fat zombie coming. See if we can get us some good stuff. This would really kick this off, be a good one. Uh, there's actually a lot of stuff here I want to pick up. Uh, this might be better if I just mass pick everything up and shove it into a one of the outboard compartments. 
There's a lot of parts, a lot of sights here. Sheath, combat knife, I want those. I want the leg pouch. Alright, where? The sheath, where? The drop leg pouch. Activate the sheath and put in the combat knife. Grab that and that. Leave the rest for now. Don't need another entrenching tool. Not worried about the rest of that. Red dot sight. Defender with ammo. There's an army helmet. A little late, but uh, we'll grab it. Come on, where's the good guns? No good guns. Tack gloves that fit. Another sheath and combat knife. Well, a lot of army winter wear. Uh, one military ID card. There's an H and K with a holster. Let's go ahead and wear the holster and activate it and throw in that H and K. All right, I think that's it. I could get a lot of Kevlar by chopping up the uh, army gear. But I think what I'm going to do is just note soldier gear, mostly clothes. It's close enough to the base, we can easily come back and grab this stuff for the uh, Kevlar or for the warmth factor in case I hit an ice lab or when wintertime hits. A lot of winter pants and jackets and such here uh, that'll keep us warm, but I'm not going to grab it right this moment. I need to get back to base. Failed to start twice. Uh, actually, I didn't loot the corpse I ran over, did I? Um, pretty sure that zombie that I just saw is going to come over here. Where is the corpse? Oh, he didn't have anything either. Um, more winter gear. Alright, he's smushed. Hey there, fat zombie. What am I using? Got the rubber bow out. No gas. First aid kit and some bandages. We'll take it. Alright, where am I at? I need to go straight west. And then find that little street connection. I need to go straight across this way and follow this until I come to the yeah right there yeah apparently somebody's in that house ooh ooh barely scooched around that building <laughs> This is the part I was dreading. Tight squeezes while driving this vehicle. Don't hit the tree. Uh, we 
might be parking around back this time. I think there's less vehicle. Where the hell did you come from? Zombie climbs to its feet. So I hadn't pulped him before, apparently. Alright, I think there's less vehicles to deal with down this way, so I'm just going to park out back. Uh, yeah, this will work. Alright, we made it back. Still got 20 liters of gas. I'm going to hang out here by my vehicle for a short bit while I see if anything got attracted by the noise or the light. Nope, looks like we're good. Okay, uh, meat first, then I'll come unload all the other crap. So let's wear the dive bag. Grab. Uh, too much stuff. Meat. Fat. Ooh, so much stuff. God, I, I really need to get out of this basement. <laughs> Really need to get out of the basement. I think that's all the perishables. I don't remember if I restarted the kiln last time I was down here. Yes, I did. Awesome. And I need that charcoal. Oh, we're tired as well. No, I got too much meat. I need to get it finished before I go to sleep. myself because I'm carrying such heavy amounts. All right. Um, I'm going to need two by fours for the fire. I don't think I have enough gasoline. I still got 1400 so maybe I do. I think I put the gas lamp in the vehicle though.
it is. Alright, let's uh, turn on the lantern and go to food. Eat. Hmm. I need to load the charcoal smoker. Let's try this again. Let's go with smoke meat first. Then we run out of what? Charcoal? Yep. Do it. I'm going to be so tired by the time this is done. And yeah, I need to be standing here instead. Berries are old already. Alright, let's do some sausage. yet? What is my cooking skill at? Only four, but soon to hit five. I think pemmican's either five or six. I'd like to get some pemmican meat as well. Let's just do some more smoked meat. And then we run out of meat. Alright, fine, do it. Alright, so we got smoked meat, we've got meat, we've got uh, one chunk of meat left, and a dehydrated meat. Alright, that wasn't as much meat as I thought we were going to get. 35 plus 18, 53 and 60 sausage. I guess that's a pretty good amount. Alright, what else we got? Um, get the offal cooked up. Make some lard. Nope. Keep crafting. I don't care how tired you are. Ninety-nine percent. <laughs> Cooking's level four and ninety-nine percent. Alright, find something to cook that's going to give me a skill point. Um, bologna. Yeah, do a bologna. Skill 5, and we failed the bologna and wasted the materials. Can I do pemmican now? Pemmican! Alright, now I just need the fire, and then I can cook up a bunch of pemmican with the smoked meat and the uh, fruit. And I do want to get that done. How much... I got a single 2x4. That's not going to be enough. Activate. Step away from all the crap. Activate. Uh, never mind. Wield. Um, overweight again. Overweight. Come on.
Um, uh, barely below. What is? Oh, I've got all that other gear on now. Um, and my strength is down. That's what's causing it. All right, just suffer. <laughs> Uh, strength five, trying to break tables. All right, that's gonna have to do. Pemmican. All right, do five pemmican now. Oof. Five hours, four hours. Holy mackerel. Use the blueberries. I think the blackberries are about to go bad. Failed. No, four hours failed. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pass out. Failed and wasted. Oh my God, this is not going well. All right, we're going to have to sleep, even if I end up losing some of the stuff. <laughs> this is awful. Go to sleep. Ugh. Oh crap, wake up. We're going to dehydrate and die. <laughs> that wasn't a good plan. Well, hopefully we don't die of dehydration before we wake up from being super tired. That'd be a pretty awful way to go. Come on, wake up. <laughs> it's going to take me everything we just cooked up in order to uh, get out of this famished and dehydrated state. That's going to suck. That's going to suck a lot. Yeah, that's going to suck a lot. <laughs> There's just no way around it. I'm going to end up eating so much food just to get out of this state. Alright, do... Um, 44... Just do some water. All right, let's see how many it's going to take. So starting at 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. <laughs> it took nine doses to get to slicked. Uh, fill my canteen with the rest. And uh, I can't believe we lost all that meat and other material failing that pemmican. Where are we at now for cooking? 44%. <laughs> I don't know if I can afford to make pemmican at the fail rate I'm getting currently. Uh, let's grab, let's see, pickles is not, I'm gonna try to hit some of my more nutritious stuff I got laying around that's canned and preserved. So we'll, tr we'll try this. So let's have the salad, pork and beans, pork and beans, ravioli, ravioli, ravioli. Oh, not nearly as bad. I think they modified the hunger stuff. So it used to be when I got that dehydrated and hungry, I could eat 50 pounds of stuff and still be hungry. So I'm glad they got that fixed. That, that used to be stupid. All right, well, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. All right, so we got that recovered. Uh, I'm not holding anything there, so let's try to finish off this cooking. I failed pemmican the first time, but didn't waste materials. The second time I attempted it, I actually failed and wasted all the materials, so all the meat and uh, fruit got burnt up in my bad cooking attempt. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. Let's see. Use the tallow and the blueberries. Failed again. I don't know what it is. I mean, I got my int up to seven, and I'm just constantly failing, even up 
skill level to difficulty level attempts. So there's either been a change, or I'm just totally not used to having that low of an int. I mean, seven's not that low. I mean, a lot of people start with eight intelligence. That's the default base start. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm just failing probably 75% of even up attempts. And that's nowhere near what it used to be. And we failed again. So that's four failures on Pemmican at straight up. Now I just gained a skill level, so now it'll start getting better. But uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, that's four hours of each of failures. Try again. And I lost all my light because the wood went, uh, lost all my wood again. Uh, I just don't get it. Ugh. Fucking four times. I, I don't get these fail attempts. It's not just the food. I don't know how I managed to get all of the um, survival gear created. Maybe it's just food that's having this problem, but uh, I'm having a horrible time with food. It just fails and fails and fails and fails, even though I'm skill 5, difficulty 5, skill 6, difficulty 6, and it's just constant failures anymore. Uh, let's go back to the... No, I don't want the oil lamp. I want the gas lamp. Um, I'm going to need more wood for the fire, so... Let's get rid of this other stuff I just grabbed. Dump those for now. Uh, keeping that. And I just can't really dump much. Alright, drop here. Inventory to here. Everything. Alright, hopefully nothing comes and visits me, because I'm not wearing anything. Eh, grab it all. Come here, fence. Never did like you. Yeah, I'm got to get out of this basement. <laughs> Absolutely got to get out of this basement. I hate dragging stuff up and downstairs. <laughs> hey there, zombie! Now that I'm overburdened, and all I'm carrying is my. Uh, Two by f or my uh, crowbar. Stop picking up. Yes. Drop. Two by fours. No. Okay. Say yes now. All right. At least I'm not overburdened there. I think we should be able to take him with our survivor gear. He's gonna have a harder time getting through. <laughs> and he brought a Glock. I don't want a Glock. should be enough. Alright, got everything back in our inventory. Um, Alright, back to what we were trying to do. More pemmican, please. Get one one successfully would be nice. This is attempt number five. <laughs> I'll be happy to take anybody's uh, comments on just what the hell's going on here. That's five failures, four at even up, and one one level higher so far. I've burned... A full day of, of game time not making a single thing of pemmican. <laughs> Temp 6. 
uh, no, we made it that time. So, attempt number six. We finally got our first batch of pemmican done. Good God. Just do not get it. And I got stuff getting old on me here. <laughs> Man, failed again. We're now one for seven. And it's batch. I'm doing five, so yeah, almost four hours each attempt. One for seven success rate. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Cooking's now seven. We've gone up two skill levels and we've succeeded twice. Nope, finish this thing. Yeah, right, now that we're two levels above, we're actually starting to get some successes. All right, we're dead tired again. What have I got left? Um, six fat, still got blueberries. I think I'm done with the pemmican. Let's, before I go to sleep, let's dry out. Uh, I want to dry the veg or dry the fruit. Dehydrated fruit. I need the dehydrator or the smoker. Alright, so I need to reload the smoker again. Alright, dry the fruit. All of it. Dry. I got no veggies to dry now. Did it go bad while I was drying the fruit? <laughs> no, that's enough pemmican. All right, finish off the fat. Deluxe veggie beans, yummy. All right, before I do anything else, all rotten. All right, into the fire with you, rotten food. That's what I figured. Alright, I think the rest of it is fine. So, oops, nope, I still got uh, four, eight, nine. Does it take like ten fruit to do dehydrated? Oh, nope, ran out of charges again. That's where my dehydrated went. Alright, finish that off. And that. All right, well, there it is. So we came out of that with 57 sausage, 40, 80, almost 120 pemmican, and 10 smoked meat left over. Grab this, drop that back up here. Two sealed glass jars of canned offal. <laughs> That's not what I intended to make. <laughs> Picked the wrong recipe for that, apparently. All right. 
And I've still got the stuff sitting in the trunk, the truck as well that I hadn't grabbed yet. Let's have a meaty breakfast, and then we gotta head to sleep. Right after I finish refilling the water. All right, yeah, that was ridiculous. I've seven attempts at pemmican at four hours each, so more than a full day of game time trying to make it. <laughs> or no, it was more than seven. That was just stupid amounts of failure. All right, oh, our health value dropped to eight. Oh no, <laughs> I forgot to be eating my uh, my calcium and my multivitamins. What the hell, game? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> Three seasons, and all of a sudden it says it's going to go bad. Or it's old. It wasn't old before I went to sleep, so I'm not sure how it managed to get to that status that quick. That's pretty damn annoying. All right, full and slaked. Let's grab a couple of gallon jugs. Alright, so food and water. Let's do another batch of biscuits. Yeah, I found a tank. Not drivable currently, though. I haven't been uh, looking around the city enough yet. We just got to the point where we can start uh, focusing on the city a bit. Um, how much charcoal do I have left? 2,300. Pretty good amounts. I want to do one more harvesting run during the summertime. Oh, no, no we're in the autumn. Yeah, I want to do one more harvesting run, plus I need to unload the vehicle. Um, I really need to make a decision about staying underground now. <laughs> Actually, let's do this. Let's grab the science ID card, pop this door open, see what the hell's in there. Where did I put my ID cards? There we go. Alright, activate. Firefighter belt for the crowbar. Wield. A shotgun. Shotgun's fully reloaded. Let's pop that door. Hmm. Is it an actual lab? Holy crap. It's looking like an actual lab entrance. Let's say we got the alpha. <laughs> First room we go into, we get the alpha book. <laughs> that's pretty funny. And I wonder if that's the correct standpipe book for the uh, elf. Alpha and elf in the same room. First, First room you go into. That would be crazy. 
Yeah, because I need more funnels. Sure, why not? Yeah, it's looking like a full-on lab so far. Dead end that way. Am I overweight again? I am overweight again. The extinguisher and the charcoal smoker and all the other crap. <laughs> Nothing in there. Super glue, oxidizer, large fire extinguisher. Which I can disassemble. Stairs down. Yep, yeah, it's the entrance to a lab. Well, alrighty then. Maybe I will stay down here. Um, let's drop. Extinguisher. So, I was incorrect. It's not a railroad to a lab. It's just a straight-up lab entrance. Um, possibly there will be a uh, railroad connection point somewhere in there. But I have to decide if I want to uh, go into a lab. Um, Alright, where am I at? We're at 73 out of 81. Um... Part of that is because of the extra guns and things I've strapped to myself. All to there. Oh yeah, those stupid things. Where did the... Oh, it's in my hand. Alright, so this is interesting. <laughs> Let's actually pop down real quick. From the north you hear brap. Alright. Actually. Temperature? Five degrees. 
Alright, so it's not a nice lab. Too bad none of these rooms was a bedroom. That would have been convenient. <laughs> Let's clean things up a bit. Everything to here. I have an asthma attack. Really? I ran out of my inhaler? I did. Alright. Where's my other inhaler? Um, god damn it. Erg! What the hell? <laughs> All I wanted to do was pick up my asthma, my inhaler, and it moved everything. Erg! God damn it. How the hell did it manage to do that? It picked up my inhaler and then decided on its own to just reshuffle everything around on me. Uh, I are annoyed. I don't know. <laughs> um, great. Where did I have stuff? Right there I had all the random crap. Here, hey there, Joe Egg. Welcome to the channel. Um, right here I had the books, and it's annoying. It moved everything. <laughs> Not sure how it managed to do that when I was just picking up the inhaler. And here, and the drugs. And All right, I think that's where I had everything. Raw materials, tools, books, drugs. Ah, drugs need to go from here to here. All right, drugs, books, quick food to eat away from my main pile of random junk, weapons, clothes, and bed. I think that's everything where I want it. All right, let's check those books. I know Alpha, that one's obvious. The other one, is this the correct standpipe? Um, doesn't mention it there. I don't think that's the right one. Yeah, that's not the one. All right, so that's not the LFA standpipe log. That would have been pretty funny after all the uh. Excitement from the last series. Um, let's have some old sausage. That's old for no apparent reason. Alright, so we got the books figured out. Now I got a ton of stuff back in the car. Now that I know I have a lab right here, I guess we are going to spend some more time in this area or down in this location. So, let's go unload the vehicle. I should have left the stuff on. Mm, so much moving stuff around. Um, drop. Inventory.
Oh, I had more meat over here. Oh well. I probably wouldn't have gotten to it anyway. <laughs> 